Newcastle deserved to lose at least even 8-0 yesterday because of that robbery they did against us. Honestly, that game at St. James's Park was one of the best robberies I've seen in a long time because they go away with this scot free. Not just one incident, not just two incidents, but three different incidents leading up to the goal and VAR literally gave them the goal. But it's cool. It's cool. We dealt with it and we showed them that we mean business. They're pressing... Honestly, that pressing was incredible that first half because I'm like, damn, we are pressing Newcastle like they owe us some money, bro. Like they literally owe us some money. And the way the boys were so aggressive, I wasn't even surprised in the second half when it went down a bit. It's like, it's like it's fair because that level of pressing was incredible. They could not get out of their own box. The way that we were literally forcing them to stay in, in their own half of the pitch was incredible, man. I've never seen Arsenal so aggressive on the ball before, man. It was such a beautiful sight. I can't even lie. But yeah, listen, man, that's what Arsenal have to do. These kind of games with teams that like to play this anti-football by put, putting 10,000 people at the back, you have to score early and shut the game down quickly. Once you score early, the game is more calm. If Arsenal hadn't scored those two goals, fam, it would have been tough because Isaac was inches away from getting it 2-1. Even at 2-1, Newcastle would have a chance of getting a 2-2 draw. But yeah, fantastic from the boys, honestly, man. The first guy I'm going to mention again is Jakub Kivior. Jakub Kivior, who actually has more goals and assists than Anthony, who's meant to be a £100 million rated right winger. £100 million, by the way, for a Brazilian winger. He's not Brazilian, bro. That guy is from Bradford. We know that for a fact, bro. He is not Brazilian. But yeah, man, Kivior is absolutely incredible. I love the guy so far. You see... He's not his natural ability to come inside like Zinchenko. That's what Zinchenko. Three perfectly capable midfielders in Jorginho, Havertz, Rice. I won't lie to you. Even Havertz shouldn't play midfield anymore. Havertz should be playing striker more often. And then we have Martin Odegaard. We have on the bench Smith Rowe and um, Vieira. So we're very good in that department. But when you ask him to defend, Jacob Kivior is just incredible. And yeah, I'm so happy that he's worked out. Because honestly, going into the next round of games that we have, we cannot have Zinchenko as our weak link again because every time Zinchenko is on that ball, we know that he's great. But once he's off that ball and he's up against a half-decent winger, it's done for us, bro. It's completely, completely done for us. But yes, yeah, Starboy Saka, what more can I say? 20 goal contributions in the Premier League, just the same as he had last season. And this season, he's meant to be having an off-season. Honestly, the reason why people hate on Saka is because they wish they had him in their team. It's just that simple. There's no other reason... But loved loved that from him. Martinelli wasn't amazing, but he was a lot better. He was a lot better. He's releasing the ball a lot more often because he likes to hold on to the ball usually. But yesterday he released the ball a lot often and got himself a nice little assist for Kai Havertz's goal. Shout out to Arteta as well for bringing on the subs in the good time. 75th minute, Saka went off, took a nice rest. Some other guys went off. Obviously, I'm not happy to have Enketi on the pitch, but it's all we have. You know what I'm saying? So we can't do much. But yeah, great from him to see, you know, Spithro on the bench and coming on to play part of the game. Fabio Vieira is back. Jesus is back. So honestly, great, great work from all of them. The defence, all of them were great, bro. All of them were great. They didn't, didn't have much to do because we just kind of stifled Newcastle and kept them in their own half. Second half, we had a lot more to do. But honestly, incredible from our defence, man. There's not much more I can say than I love that game and I can't wait for more. Obviously, everybody knows that we have to beat Porto. It's just that simple. We cannot let that slide. We cannot let this Champions League opportunity slide. This has been Ball One where I talk about nothing but football. The subscribe button is here somewhere. Be a legend today and hit that big fat subscribe button for me, yeah? Ball One, I'm out.